Libra, welcome and welcome back to Monocopes and Soul Healing. I am Amira. This is going to be a message for you, okay? So wherever you have Libra in your chart, it may resonate for you. Yes, the lights are on today because I felt like they needed to be. And uh, here we are. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well out there, wherever you are, whatever you're going through. Let's go ahead and tap into your energy, Libra. And we are going to do the courage spread. We're going to look at where you've been, where you want to be, and what you need to do to get there. Towards the end of the video, following that, we're going to do you dealing with all signs and see what those people have to say for themselves, how they want to contribute to the conversation, what's really going on with them that they're not telling you about, all that beautiful stuff. And that'll be time stamped down in the description box. <laughs> that was the tower. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for that, okay? Or skip forward if you don't want to know any detailed messages for you. I don't know. Do what you want, right? <laughs> Let's see. What's here for Libra? I do want to thank you guys, though, for your presence. As always, it's greatly appreciated. It means a lot. Um, please don't forget to hit that like button. That means a lot as well. And it does not take much from you. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, you can email me. Okay. Let's just see what we get here for you. Hmm. <laughs> oh boy what is this I'm scared I am I'm not gonna lie to you all right Libra I mean let's just talk about it right are you guys ready because I don't know if I am <laughs> You're showing up in this Eight of Swords in the reversal energy as far as where you have been. I love this. Um, I don't know how I love it, uh, you know, in, with the combination of that and then where you want to be. But, you know, we'll talk about it. Eight of Swords in a reversal is someone who's bro breaking free. That was weird. I wanted to say breaking, breaking free and broken free at the same time. Can't be both, okay? Um but maybe you're still in the midst of it, right? Maybe they're still trying to figure out. But this is someone who was once stuck, is someone who, um, I don't know why I keep hearing collaboration. So perhaps you had an accomplice, okay, in breaking you free or you, uh, you know, teamed up with someone to, to help give you some advice, direction, or clarity as far as what you should do. What is that? Um, but the Eight of Swords in a reversal is someone who has, in fact, broken free. It's someone who is has taken their power back, right? It's somebody who um, has seized an opportunity, made a clear choice, made a decision to go in a particular direction where they were confused, where they felt stuck, where they were holding themselves back, um, not speaking up for themselves, really in their emotions. Very, very, very fearful, extremely fearful. This is someone who's no longer afraid, okay? Or at least made a decision. I feel like there is a little bit of fear still, but still, why can't I speak? Um, but the decision has been made. What is that? All right. Let's do some clarification because... <laughs> This message is really interesting thus far. But this is someone who's who's no longer afraid, okay? Showing courage, using using their courage, tapping into their courage to face some kind of fear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Queen of Wands. Love it. The Queen of Wands is extremely courageous. She's spontaneous as well. Again, I feel like you guys are almost there. There's just some a little bit more you need to do, and we'll talk about that in a second. But this is someone who is a master manifester, okay? She's somebody who sets her eyes on something and, and, and gets it done. She is. I like that. Right. Right. 
Exactly. <laughs> Exactly, Spirit. You have the Star card, the Eight of Wands, and the Hangman here. All right, Libra, this is you guys. Um, like I said, figuring out what you need to do. And there was some kind of assistance here. Ooh, Empress Energy right next to the Queen of Wands. With the Seven of Wands. There was some kind of assistance here. Okay, something or somebody, whether whether it just came from the spiritual realm and it was information or, again, you collaborated with someone um, and received what you needed, essentially, to get yourself out of this bind. I, I, I feel like things happened a little too fast for you, and so it seems like you're stalling now. Like, you know... How can I put this? I'm trying to think of an example. It's like to get out of the hole, if you will, I really only need a nickel. <laughs> Stay with me. I really only need a nickel. And I have said nickel, but once I get it, I'm like, well, maybe I'll just wait until I have a dime too. Okay, this is sort of what's going on here. Yeah, the Ace of Swords, Justice, and the Emperor. Interesting. This could be someone who got out of jail, okay? Whether it's you or another person, there's definitely some kind of punishment here or consequences for something that occurred. Or maybe this is somebody who wanted somebody to go to jail. Whatever the situation here, there could definitely be a legal situation. I mean, because the emperor is a boss, a ruler, a judge, okay? This is somebody who is in a position of authority to make a significant decision, and especially as it pertains to any punishment that's necessary. And the justice card showing up as well, all right? There was a fair and just, I mean, victories here. There was a fair and just decision that was made. It looks like that is the wish fulfillment that came in, that was the thing that someone needed. Um, hmm. But, there's always a but, right? That's you showing up there. I don't know if you guys are in a position to make this decision. Or you feel like you're waiting to make a decision. That's what it seems like. Like you have the truth. <laughs> you have the clarity. But let me just wait on this until. Yeah, the Hierophant. Goodness, everybody's here. This is some kind of um, court situation, legal situation, or... Um, dealing with the contract of some, I mean, the, all the officiants. <laughs> the King of Swords is here as well. But this is what I'm saying, okay? The clarity is here as far as making a decision. Okay, well, then we get to this place of where you want to be. It's like resisting what I know I need to do. Because now it's like full circle, <laughs> So, I mean, I mean, I guess that's our cue to move on. I'm kind of curious, though. Oh, oh, let me clarify this hangman. similar to Leo's um, reading. And I get it because you're a Libra. <laughs> you know? Um, but it is reading really similar to Leo's reading. Because this is somebody who has the awareness of what I need to do, what I need to say, how I need to act, what direction to go in, so on and so forth. But like I said to Leo, wanting the sauce instead. which is like total ego. 
You have the King of Wands showing up here now where we saw the Queen. Because it's literally like, you know, the, the King of Pentacles, King of Wands, and the Five of Wands is here. The, the battle here, the, the fight here, or the options here, if you will, is make the practical decision or do the thing I want to do that is probably spontaneous. There may definitely be a lot of communication about this or opinions, if you will, from family members or friends, your tribe. There seems to be a lot of communication. In the midst of that is your intuition, though, where you're being led. Right, there's that Eight of Swords. Because somebody has to let go of something that they don't want to. I mean, again, it could be pride, it could be ego, it could be money or some kind of stability. Well, where you want to be is in this energy. Somebody tell me why. Anybody? <laughs> Knight of Cups in a reverse. The Knight of Cups in a reversal is somebody who probably was rejected in some way. Okay, it is. It's someone whose feelings are hurt. It's somebody who is not looking for love. It's somebody who is closed off, who um, probably had unrealistic expectations, especially as it pertains to love, romance, or some kind of kind gesture that they did. It's like, I don't want to be nice anymore. This is what the Knight of Cups in reversal in this position is telling me. It's like, I don't want to be nice anymore. I don't care to apologize. I don't care to try again. Okay, this is somebody who is typically, not saying you are, but typically jealous, um, insecure, emotionally abusive, and uh, um, probably, probably passive aggressive. It's literally somebody who will pick you all the way up to the sky with their sweet nothings and then slam you on your damn face. That's the Knight of Cups in reverse. It is. But there could have been definitely, this could, I mean, it could be so, so simple as I want to reject this because my feelings are hurt. But this is not a good energy to want to be in is what I'm saying. Let's see, what is it? Because again, you have gained some kind of awareness. You're not afraid anymore. You know what you need to do or what you need to say. Maybe what you need to say is this Knight of Cups in reverse, and, and, and maybe you are needing to reject someone or push somebody away who has done you wrong. Um, that could very well be the case. But let's just see. Yeah, it's like wanting to... I want to say get revenge. That's what I really want to say. Here's this Queen of Wands again showing up. It's like you're in this powerful energy, but you don't quite yet have the confidence to do what you want to do. Yeah, the awareness is definitely here. And again, I feel like the, it's like the ball is in your court to make whatever this decision is and, and finalize something. This really seems like, uh, I mean, if it's not a legal situation, there's definitely karma. There's, there's karma all up and through this message, okay? That could mean that there's a karmic relationship, that there's karmic debt that someone is paying off or has to pay off. Um, yeah. But I do feel like there's a lot of confliction that's still here as to like, should I stop myself or should I just do the thing?
definitely wanting to make a decision. Wanting to make the final decision and, and end this chaos or drama because it seems like it's filled with drama. Because this feels to me like like I want to I want to just put my emotions aside and and give them a piece of my mind or put my emotions aside and just do what I know I need to do. Mhm. Mm Literally. Feels like you want to give somebody a piece of your mind. <laughs> All right, what you need to do to get there. We have the full card. So the full is taking a new approach, closing out a cycle and starting a new one. This is taking a risk, leaving it all behind. Okay, going on a new journey, unbothered. This is somebody who is extremely unbothered, okay? But it comes after having learned some kind of lesson. Like I said, there's been some kind of consequences or karma here. Um, in some situation, I feel like it was in the past, however. But the full um, Aries energy is of starting over, it's, you know, doing something spontaneous, taking a risk, following and, and trusting where you're led intuitively. It's a very carefree energy. Um, yeah. And for a lot of you, yeah, the sun card, which is also a very carefree energy. I feel like this is sort of what you're needing to be in because it seems like, again, like the Leo reading that I literally just did, it's like, I know that I'm free and I'm good and I should just, you know, move on, but I want the sauce. Okay. Yeah, you need to detach. The sun card is freedom, as is the fool. This is freedom. And I, and I don't know if somebody was literally in jail, okay? But there's, I feel like there's already been a realignment for someone here. Someone has already gotten, you know, what they deserve in a situation. Um, but it's hard to let go of something here. You have Capricorn and Pisces energy showing up as well. There's an, I, I feel like you guys are waiting, okay? But there's a need to um, identify what you need to leave in the past and, um, yeah, move forward, okay? Six of Swords, that's like literally leaving the fight behind you, leaving the conflict, leaving the chaos, leaving the jealousy, leaving the ego, leaving the ill will, okay? Because nobody wins in that Five of Swords energy. And it's, I, I really feel like you guys have already been there. I feel like you've already been in the Five of Swords energy. And you've already moved past it. But this is like wanting to go back into it. Yeah, Queen of Swords. Knight of Swords. Temperance. And the Five of Wands. Honestly, it feels like somebody's feelings are hurt. All right, Libra, you in particular, um, and that it's just difficult to move on or maybe literally move for some of you. Maybe that was, a, you know, a part of the consequences, the decision from the judge or somebody significant in this situation. Um, Yeah, because it's like someone is not satisfied with 
the results of something here. dealing with all signs. What does Libra need to do here? I'm hearing that song. <laughs> uh, what's it called? Old Town Road? Old Town Road? Is that what it's called? Something like that, child. I don't know. Here's the Queen of Wands showing up again, okay? This is someone who is bold, confident, assertive, um, very passionate. Again, what, what she wants to do, but you have the awareness of what you need to do to get yourself um, moving forward. Um, what she wants to get done, she will get done. And this is someone who's showing up as somebody who will be stable, secure, happy, living in luxury, have what they need, you know, moving forward. Yeah, the Empress and the Ace of Pentacles, like, like this is literally the, the, the birth of a new life. And I feel like somebody is here. I mean, the full card is somebody who's starting over, right? It's it's like it's time to move forward. It's time to leave the past in the past. It's time to accept, allow that something has ended, that something is over. Um, it's time to um, learn the lesson, wipe your hands of it, and go on. <laughs> go on. Yeah. All right, Libra. Let's do you dealing with all signs. That wasn't so bad. I thought it was going to be a little more rough. All right, Libra dealing with all signs, please. And thank you. Guys, don't forget to like this video. Okay. And reach out for a personal reading if you so choose. Libra dealing with all signs, please. Seems like it's a really hectic time for you guys right now, and I get it. We just have to trust where we're being led. If you're dealing with an Aries, this person is done playing games, okay? I feel like they're also done arguing specifically. All right, so if you've been in an argument with somebody, I feel like they've been avoiding you um, recently, but whoever this is, they're done playing games, okay? They're ready to talk in like, um, in a calmer space, all right? If you're dealing with a Taurus, This is somebody, <laughs> this is somebody who shows up on the outside as though they have it all together, as though they are confident, they eat well, they have enough money, they're um, doing great in life, probably like all done up and done down, but everything is not fine, okay? It's not. Everything is not fine. So if they're saying that, if you're dealing with a Gemini, um, this person is very selfish, okay? I feel like they recently decided to go in a new way. I don't know if they're changing their mind here, okay? I, I feel like they could be um, in a place down the road, maybe in a week or two, where they decide to change their mind. But whoever this is is extremely selfish. I feel like it's not going to benefit you to say all right come on back home or okay we can try to work this out or um let's think this through again no if you're dealing with a cancer <clears throat> 
whoever this is is very intuitive let me just say that for one i, I feel like they're very um intuitive very spiritual okay that was just like a side message so um This person is trying to figure out how they can spend more time with you. Okay. Um, I don't know if they work hard or they have been in a position where they've been working hard. Uh, it could be like them trying to figure out how they can take a vacation or take a break from work or work less hours or something like that. But that's what they're trying to figure out right now. If you're dealing with a Leo... This person is ready to um, accept your apology. <laughs> the audacity of people sometimes. Did you guys just recently have a message like that? Or that might have been um, Sagittarius. I can't remember who that was. Whoever this is, though, they're saying they're ready to accept your apology. They, they um, <clears throat> I feel like they've been avoiding it or ignoring it or ignoring you, whatever the case. They're ready to heal, mend, and move forward from whatever disappointment, okay? Child. If you're dealing with a Virgo, are we on Virgo? I think so. I keep losing my spot in Aries. Yes, I was right. Oh, whoever this is is really um, satisfied, content, happy with you, okay? Um... They feel like you guys mesh well. They feel like they can trust you. They, yeah, they don't, they can, they feel like whoever this is, they feel like they can trust you completely. Okay. They don't have anything to worry about. They also feel like you are very, um, protective of them or you would be. Okay. I like this a lot. That's a Virgo. If you're dealing with a Libra, I just heard this person is insensitive. Okay um insensitive in some way i feel like it has to do with how they um first of all they struggle to manage their emotions okay especially like in 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 um intense situations or um what do i want to call it high something high something situations they high stress situations i guess whatever it, they they struggle to manage their emotions and um prioritize okay If you're dealing with a Scorpio, this person is emotionally um, unavailable. I feel like they're not ready to talk or, you know, if you do have this conversation, it's not going to go well because they don't know how to manage their emotions well either. Is this the same person? I mean, they might be on the cusp, whoever this is. Okay, but whoever this Scorpio person is, um, I feel like they're in denial about the way that they speak. I don't know if they're, if they... Um, I mean, I want to say that they're verbally abusive, but that could be extra. I just feel like they're disrespectful, generally speaking. Okay, whoever this is. If you're dealing with a Saggy, this person is saying, I need time alone so that I can focus because I've got whatever partying, going out, or dates even has become a distraction. And so they need time alone because they feel like they have become distracted from um whatever they were working on for a while it's something that they were working on they this is gonna um breed resentment so let this person have some space if you're dealing with a capricorn um this person has some healing to do as most of us do um, I do feel like they're aware that they have some healing to do. There's, they're, this is the kind of person who has a lot of triggers. Um, and unless you have a specific conversation with them about their past, about their childhood, about their past relationships, about their relationship with their children, especially in particular, there's something around that, okay? Whoever this person is, I feel like you need to pay attention to their relationship with their children or how they treat your children. There's something about that that is like um, directly connected to whatever they went through in the past or in their childhood, okay? That's for Capricorn. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, 
this person just had some kind of loss, okay? This could be because you rejected them. It's so weird because I feel like you don't even know who this person is. Like, <laughs> it's like the peeping Tom down the street who said hi to you and maybe you didn't hear them, so you didn't say anything back and now they're all in their feelings. I don't know, maybe you do know them, but that's how they're coming off. <laughs> like, whoever this is just really feels like you don't notice them. Let's just put it that way, whether you know them or not, okay? If you're dealing with a Pisces, this person is saying they don't have the capacity right now to give you what you need. I feel like they're in the process of trying to figure out what that is or what they would need to do. I do feel like they're open to learning, okay, learning from you or how to work with you, how to get on the same page with you. But right now, they are having to learn that lesson on their own. Okay, it's hard for them to do things differently, though. This person may have um, Capricorn or Taurus or Virgo really in their chart, but specifically Capricorn. Yeah, or Virgo, both here. All right, Libra, this is the message I have for you. I hope that something here resonated. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, reach out for a personal reading. Love you guys for life. See you next time.